Toolbars, a utility added to your browser to make browsing the internet easier. That's how it used to be way back when, when I first started to use the internet. That's no longer the case. Yes, there are some good toolbars, but they're hard to come by. Not everyone agrees which one is a good toolbar and which one is a bad toolbar. This toolbar is passed along to you when you install Nero. Supposedly, it makes Nero easier to use. But all it actually is is the Ask toolbar. And both Nero and Ask make lots of money because you decided to install it. What's worse is it's possible that you didn't even intend to install it, but simply didn't use the custom method of installing the program. There are always two ways of installing any program. The default method, which means hurry up, put this program on my computer because I want to use it, and I really don't care what else you're adding to my computer. And then there's the second method. It's the custom method of installing, where you get to see what's being installed, where it's being installed, and best of all, you get to uncheck the things that you do not want installed. This is what could happen to you if you're one of those people that constantly uses the fault method of installing a program, which means toolbars that come within that program automatically get added to your browser. Get enough of them, you have no place to display a website. Add enough of them, they'll slow down your browser to a crawl. So why do companies allow toolbars to be installed with their programs? The answer is very, very simple. It's all done for money. Toolbars are a great source of income for the programs that push the toolbar and a greater source of income for the toolbar vendor or creator. The toolbar vendors are able to gather a great deal of information when you install and use their toolbar, which they sell for cash. Lots of it. Your habits on the internet are worth money to a great number of people. Toolbars, as I've mentioned, also slow down your browser. And you can wind up with all kinds of pop-ups because you've installed them. Pop-ups aren't any fun. They get in the way of what you actually came to the internet for. They disrupt your work and they take all the fun out of browsing. If you have too many toolbars and are experiencing too many pop-ups, maybe you ought to be installing a vast free antivirus program on your computer. As you can see, even the free version of Avast has a browser cleanup tool. And what it does is get rid of those toolbars that are considered dangerous and malware. We'll give this one a little run and show you what it actually does. As you can see, I don't have toolbars that have a poor reputation. The actual only toolbar that I run is the Chrome toolbar on my Internet Explorer browser. But if you have toolbars on your computer, this is one way to get rid of them and gain an excellent antivirus program at the same time. I hope this helps.